Hi! I'm trying something new today. It's called StreamYard. It's a version of Zoom. What I wanted to do was bring you my virtual art fair booth. Uh, one of the things I wanted to uh, share with you today is that I've been excited about some new fabric and the colors that I've, I've designed. This one is called Truffle. It's a beautiful, rich brown that truly reminds me of a good, rich truffle. As you might notice, my fabric is quite wide, but this is all I have as far as yardage. So I often cut a few garments as samples and then wait until I meet my customer. And at that point, we take measurements, we discuss what will really work, and uh, I create a custom garment. What you have to remember is that one is cut and I'm on another adventure. The second color I'm really excited about is the espresso brown. It's not a black, it's not a brown. It's somewhere in between, very much like a coffee bean. A coffee, a strong coffee is something. So I'm not surprised that I had to create a fabric that represented one of my passions. These are wonderful falls. The third color is something I call Brazil wood. It reminds me of the moss that you find in the deep forest on the big trees. It's not a green, it's not a brown. There's a lot of interesting highlights to this Brazil wood green. So with those kind of fabrics in mind, I did develop some new styles. This is the truffle brown vest. It has a flutter to it, which means that it, there's no formal closure. It uh, will drape and fall where it should. There are pockets. I so like making this vest. I did it in several colors. This one is a black that has a little tiny bronze fleck that reminds me of the stars sky. I also did a beautiful winter white. And a green and a gray. I'm not ridden. I decided to design a coat. So again, soft fabric in a draping fashion. And rather than have formal buttons for closure, I am using the long scarf tie. So you can use it either around the waist or around the collar to keep the jacket closed. This one has beige pockets and the color is just amazing. It truly looks like the curry spice. Now I'm going to turn my camera so you can see the far corner. And there in the corner, I have some of my scarf curls. They have a wavy edge. I use that bound edge to signify being at the water's edge. It's a little um, method I have of telling a story about being at the beach. But these individual scarves are the solution for a little fun color. They're $30 each or three for 85. And we can talk together about which three colors you like. I do have these on my website, so be sure and visit my new website. But this is the perfect Zoom solution where you have on your basics, but you need a little color, a little something that says that you're put together. After doing all these scarf curls, the ideas developed into larger pieces. These are one of a kind scarves called waterfall scarves. The uh, ends and the pieces in the scarf represent the spindrift from the waves or from the waterfalls. 
All right, we're going to see something new tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. Bye now.